Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'm going to show you something that's often ignored in Adobe Audition, those wonderful audio meters. So you've probably used the audio meters since you've been editing on a computer. They help you to, well, assess the level of any audio. Let me play something back and you'll watch them peak. Enjoy your midday after hours with James Deacon. See that? You've got uh, green is good, yellow, mm, it's in the danger area, and red means you're peaking towards zero dB. That's somewhere you don't want to be. Let me just make those levels a little bit bigger by hitting the grave key or the back tick. Uh, oh, that's the, uh, that's the audio waveform. Click in the levels box, big levels, and now we can see them as they move. Enjoy your midday after hours. Perfect. Okay. So we often use these meters, but we often ignore them. Did you know there are many things you can do to make them even better? First of all, right click on the levels uh, box here and you can change it to um, have a color gradient if you prefer. Enjoy your midday after hours with James Deacon. I do quite like that. Uh, LED meters, LED meters. Enjoy your midday after hours. If you're used to that DJ retro effect, or of course we can take those off completely clicking show valleys enjoy your midday after hours with james deacon snack will actually give you a blue line did you see it there let me show you again enjoy your midday after there it is see the blue line that is where the low area the valley of your audio is quite handy if you're trying to assess for instance a noise floor if you're noise gating some audio so there's show valleys switch that all off now, another tip you can use the uh, levels meter for is actually monitoring the input, your recording input to Adobe Audition. Uh, so before I start recording, I, I don't know what level my mic is at. I can either right click and hit meter input signal, or I can hit option, which would be alt on a PC and the letter I. Hello. There you go. You can see my levels right there. And if I scream, I almost tickle the red. There you go, I did it, I peaked. Okay, so monitoring uh, the input signal can be quite handy before you start a recording. You've also got the option to choose a dB range. 60 dB is the, the usual, but if you want to go super fine-grained, you're doing some super advanced editing, 120 dB is the maximum range that it will display for you. And this one is also good, dynamic peaks versus static peaks. So dynamic peaks, let me show you what they are first of all. Enjoy your midday after hours with James Deacon. Okay, did you see the yellow line at the top showing the peak was moving all the time? If I switch it to static peaks, you will see that line doesn't move at all. Enjoy your midday after hours with James Deacon. Snack time. Okay, so it's uh, there at minus four. That is showing you that the absolute maximum peak of my audio is is minus 4 dB. Quite handy if you want to know, uh, as well as the valleys, which I was showing you earlier, you can also get the peak and you can get a static peak there. So you can say this is the maximum level my audio goes to. So just to look at Adobe Audition's uh, level meters, they can do a little bit more than I bet you thought they could do before you watch this video.